Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to Let's Play Civilization 2. Last time we stopped, we declared war on the Mongols because we allied with the Vikings. The Vikings pay us, paid us 100 pieces of gold to declare war on the Mongols. We were planning on attacking the Mongols anyway, so we gladly accepted their offer. Especially now that, as you can see, there are units such as this one roaming around my territory, basically. But since we are allied, they cannot attack us. So for the time being, we don't need to worry about the Vikings. And we want to destroy, maybe not the entire civilization of the Mongols, but we definitely want to get rid of this city. Because it is too close to our own city of Satsuma, the fourth Japanese city that we uh, founded in the last episode so now we're gonna end the turn it seems that this city is unguarded because there's no flag which means that technically i made a mistake by not charging this horseman into the city i just realized that now that that the city is unguarded let's see if they quickly build a unit and now i have to fight them oh no that's even worse the viking they captured the mongol city of samarkand and they acquired iron working from the mongols that's so much worse because now the city still exists and we cannot attack it because we're allied with the vikings that's so awful we made a grave mistake this horseman this blinking horseman could attack and claim the city last turn and i didn't notice that it didn't have the flag oh rookie mistake okay so maybe you know until the war lasts we're gonna just attack the city of Bokhara maybe we can actually get rid of the Mongols because they, it's definitely way too crowded in this sector we're playing on a small map there's five civilizations in total and there are four of the four out of the five in like such a small piece of land so we need to get rid of at least one of them but I still don't like the fact that Samarkand is so close to Satsuma. So sooner or later, I am going to declare war on the Vikings just to uh, just so I am able to destroy the city. Okay, so let's move back to Osaka. That was such a stupid mistake. But that's how we learn, right? Let's check on our cities. Kyoto. Kyoto is just five turns away from building the pyramids. Osaka uh, is uh, one turn away from building the city walls. That's fantastic. Satsuma, our fourth city, is... Uh, they have two units already, but they're building a phalanx to replace this guy over here. We need to disband him, and it's going to free up Kyoto. We can produce an additional unit in Kyoto if we get rid of this... Uh, warrior unit and replace him with with the second phalanx okay mm. and finally we have edo and edo is the first city that actually produces a city improvement in the civilization uh, and it's the barracks barracks uh i don't know if we read about the barracks maintenance cost one cost productive cost of production 40 shields prerequisites none city produces veteran ground units ground units can be completely repaired in a single turn that's also very um important so edo is gonna have a military and it's gonna be a military producing city and hopefully every single one of these cities is gonna have a granary soon once we complete the pyramids And just as I said, so Osaka built city walls. This is our... Actually, you know, it's a great place for city walls because this is a big city. It's level 4 already. And it's a border city. The closest cities are, you know, the Mongol city to the north and the Kaupang city to the east. So I'm really happy that I have the city walls. This city produced only one unit. <clears throat> Technically, we shouldn't... I mean, yeah, of course, every single city should have at least two units 
um, su supporting two units, right? So let's go for the Legion unit. This city produces five shields per turn. We should take advantage of that and produce Legion as fast as possible. Maybe we should actually switch productions to a tile that has uh, more than one shield. Well, this one has one shield. This one is a much better tile because it gives us so much trade and so much science. Um, but it slows down the production of the of the uh, legion. But it drops from it only drops from eight to ten. I think. Obviously, we need to hurry, but I think we can make do with uh, just two. Oh yeah, and the other thing is that uh, this tile produces two food and this only one. But we still, even with just one unit of food, we still have three. Uh, food surplus. I think I'm gonna keep this. We'll see what this is. This is a, like a a blue ball, a red ball, and a white ball. I don't know what these are. Are these dice? Okay, one food and four units of trade. That's excellent. So let's actually see uh, what the tax rate looks like right now. So discoveries every eight turns. Fantastic. And total income six with still total cost of zero. So we're getting really rich. Let's move the units. Okay, we are at Satsuma. The horseman is going to be faster. <gasps> Do you see Osaka? Osaka is now guarded. It's now, it now has a nice wall surrounding it. Okay, this settler has produced the uh, irrigation. So now we are at sur surplus four because of the three units of food in this tile, which is fantastic. And we need to improve this tile as well. Then we can move over to uh, Satsuma with the settler. Keep in mind, this is a beginning settler, which uh, who, who's not, who doesn't belong to any city. So we can we will keep him for as long as we possibly can because he doesn't cost any upkeep whatsoever. They discover construction. I mean, I discovered construction. That's fantastic. Okay, so this allows me to build bridge building. Okay, I can settlers build fortresses. I don't need fortresses, but I want bridges. Aqueduct. Aqueduct allows city to increase beyond size 8. So that's my cap. Maintenance 2. Ouch. Our settlers can now use the fortress order to build fortresses. Fortresses, Fortress squares double the defense of units defending within and prevent more than one unit at a time from being lost in combat. Yeah, that's the thing, right? We can, we can stack units and we can have like 8 units in a single stack. And... If that stack is being attacked, only one unit will defend. And if that unit loses the battle, all eight units perish. This fortress uh, prevents that. <laughs> so it's nice, uh, nice mechanic that we need to keep in mind, right? Like, for example, this is a stack of two archers, right? There are two archers here. And if these archers get attacked and one of them lose the battle, both archers get destroyed. Okay. Mm, I want that bridge building goal. Sorry, help allows railroad, but that's way later. Doesn't even say that it. I mean, literally the name suggests that, right? But it, it doesn't say that it allows uh, <laughs> the settlers to to build bridges. Okay, let's do that. Let's contact the. Uh, who can we contact? Let's contact the enthusiastic Aztecs. We're always pleased to speak with our friends, the Japanese. Mm -hmm. Have a proposal to make. Exchange knowledge. We have no interest in exchanging knowledge because you don't have any knowledge. Uh, what about maps? Any update on the maps? Very well, we shall share our knowledge of geography with you. We have no more time. Well, okay, okay, okay. 
Did we learn anything new? Maybe a little bit of this. But yeah. We have two settler units. These Aztecs are so weak. Ouch. They have two warrior units over here. There's probably one more uh, warrior over there. There somewhere should be a horseman unit. But I, I get the inkling. <laughs> I mean, I... I it's, Suddenly, I, I think I will go for the domination victory and just destroy all of them. Let's go. Con let's continue improving this land. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Okay. Let's check on Kyoto. Next term, we're getting the pyramids, people. Okay. You're getting Legion in seven turns. One, two, three, four. So technically we should we could disband and we will disband this um warrior right now. Yeah, we wasted one shield, but that's fine. Next turn, Phalanx is done. We are two turns away from getting barracks in uh, at Edo and that's that's that so pyramids legion at Osaka the phalanx at uh, uh, Satsuma and barracks at Edo mm -hmm. irrigate that land <gasps> yes Kyoto builds pyramids people Unfortunately, we don't have the beautiful clips that that uh, you know city C civilization two offers. We we are I'm I'm so happy that this game plays as well as it does. So I'm not gonna push it and try to change it in a way so that it um, you know can possibly break due to the videos. It just works perfectly. I don't need the videos when I was a kid. Uh, a, I also played the game without the videos, so I don't need them. But we have the pyramids, ladies and gentlemen. Our first wonder. Let's actually take a look at the uh, the uh, city of Kyoto. This is actually, as you can see now, also kind of screwed up the the, the um, position of this picture. 350 BC. That's Kyoto. This is our beautiful palace, and these are the pyramids. So as you can see, at in city improvements, we don't see the granary. Can we build the granary? We cannot. So it disappeared. Okay, so we don't have the option to build the granary because pyramids basically serve as granaries. And because of the fact that it's not present here, it means that it doesn't... Uh, okay, yeah, okay. So we have to change a, a new project. Let's reset. Oh, these are actually the best tiles, huh? Okay, that's fine. Um... So now this unit only has two citizens. And as you can see, <gasps> okay. So I think that this is the current situation without any modifications. And because of the phalanx unit, all six citizens are now happy. So I think that next turn Kyoto is still going to be good. Surplus is three. So once this bar fills, it will never disappear. And we will only need to fill half of the required... Uh, food in order to level up in the future and that applies to every single city and we don't need to pay maintenance for granaries that's fantastic i'm so happy that i was able to build the pyramids <clears throat> so kyoto you will build a settler we need to um decrease the population and it's gonna take only five turns and that's beautiful okay fertile yeah 400,000 citizens. Let's save the game. So now that Satsuma is here, I think that we can settle somewhere around here. I think this is a good spot. Um, this will be next to a coast tile. This will get access to this. Okay, once the city, uh, once the settler actually is in place, then we can think about um, uh, the location of a new city but for the time being let's just focus on producing that settler uh, the legion is going to be done in six turns 
Uh, okay, Satsuma, you have produced your second phalanx. Fortify that phalanx. So this city actually supports three units now. So we shouldn't build any more units. Mm. But it's a really small city, right? Uh, Satsuna is still level one, believe it or not. Next turn, it's finally going to grow. Um, so I would suggest that we should actually keep improving these defensive units. We don't need to um, buy anything here. Yeah, there's a bar over here as well. So as you can see, yeah, it, it counts for every city. Now, the second question that I have about uh, the improvements or the, the wonders such as... Um, the pyramids is if I buy a city after I have built the pyramids will it still apply to that newly founded city and we should um, well know the answer soon enough so I'm thinking about actually replacing one of these phalanx units into even a stronger unit and that unit is gonna be a legion yeah, so once the legion is done, we're going to get rid of one of the phalanx units and replace that with that. So we can defend with a really strong unit that still has defense of two, but we can also attack with that unit uh, because of the attack of four. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to build legion. You go to Osaka. Huh. Did you see that? Both of these units were in the same location. This archer moved two tiles because of the river tile, and then he was allowed to move into the jungle. But the sec second um, archer was not. Interesting. Is, is that random? I don't know. Edo builds barracks. So you should focus on building units. How should I deal with that because on one hand of course veteran units nice you know this should be the unit producing city but on the other hand every single new unit that I built right now is going to be um, costing me production because of the support okay mm. yeah you all go for legions why not uh, we are Edo. Edo doesn't need walls, so you go for the Legion unit. Veteran Legion, that's going to be scary. And once we build up a nice little army with a few Legion units, we can actually continue our warfare. And after we are done with the Mongols, we can attack the Vikings, who are also way too close to our own borders. Right. Continue moving north. Yeah, let's go along that mountain range uh, because as we just read, it uh, gives us 200% defense bonus. So if we get attacked, um, shouldn't we shouldn't worry too much about that. Of course, there is always a chance that we'll lose. I don't know what kind of units he has. I mean, if he attacks us with an elephant or a legion, with the attack of four, we're in trouble. Next turn, please. We'll wait for the other archer. Let's move as a stack. <clears throat> okay, so now all three units are a stack. Uh huh. This is going to provide me with 200 defense and this city it does have uh, a unit guarding it but it's on a grassland tile so it doesn't have any bonus defense um, this city this tile is now producing three units of food i'm super happy about that we are close to finishing the bridge building um technology which will allow us to uh, connect Osaka to Edo finally through rivers but before we do that uh, I think we're done with um, with Osaka for now we can move this uh, settler unit into Satsuma because Satsuma has some big trouble with 
um, food. Yeah, now it's changed into these tiles. Uh, the production is really slow, but we need to grow this city, right? To at least level three. It's already a level two. That's good. Already, huh? Right. Okay. Fightings get caught of loss. We get caught of loss. I know that these colors mean something. I don't know what. I'm assuming that one of these colors means that everybody or most of the civilizations has this technology. And the other color indicates that only we have it. Which means that we could trade it for something, right? But I may be wrong, I don't know. What's the tax rate situation? The cost is still at zero. Why is that? The barracks cost one unit of maintenance, right? Am I missing something? Total cost zero. Why is that? City status. <clears throat> mm, okay, that's how food we're producing. That's how many shields we're producing. That's how much trade we're producing. And that's what we're actually making right now. Settlers, legion, legion, legion. Mm -hmm. Chat with kings? What the hell is that? Defense minister. Yeah. Foreign minister. No. Trade. Total cost zero. Okay, you can clearly see here that Osaka has one barracks and it costs zero gold. And I don't understand why that's the case, because if we consult Civilopedia with city improvements and we click on barracks. It clearly states that it has maintenance of one. Maybe it's uh, a mistake. Maybe it says one, but it actually is zero. You need to consult the internet because that doesn't make any sense. Okay. That's going to be it for this episode. We are in 250 BC. We have 420 gold. Nice. Turn 91. And we are about to attack the city of Bokhara, uh, the city of Mongols. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.